Dear students, today we are going to discuss module 5, Industrial Drives and Application. The title of the module is Synchronous Motor Drive. Under this title, we are going to discuss about the bipolar drive uh, circuits for stepper motor. That is bipolar drive circuits for very uh, permanent magnet and uh, hybrid stepper motor. Okay, bipolar drive circuits for permanent magnet and hybrid stepper motor. Okay. So, in uh, unipolar drive we have discussed, unipolar the current direction will be takes place in one direction. Okay, and uh, one more thing, uh, because of the uh, external resistance RE, okay, because of the external resistance RE, uh, the unipolar drive circuit is inefficient, okay, and because uh, maximum power dissipation takes place in the external resistance. And uh, in the unipolar drive circuit, uh, also they are using chopper principle. Okay, in unipolar drive circuit, they are using chopper principle. Here also in bipolar drive circuit also, we are going to use chopper principle. Here, every time we are not continuously, we are not going to uh, use this uh, RE resistance. Here, this RE resistance already we have discussed. It will uh, reduce the time constant in order to increase the um, uh, speedy build up of current in the phase windings uh, that we have discussed. Uh, unipolar is inefficient, I said, because of that uh, the external resistance. Here also we are using, but we are going uh, with the use of this uh, external resistance, uh, we are going to make the efficient uh, uh, driver circuit for permanent magnet and hybrid motors. So that is the main motor of bi bipolar drive. Here the current direction will be takes place in both the side. Okay, now this is the simple bipolar drive circuit. Whenever the switch S1 and S2, whenever the switch S1 and S2 are uh, closed, uh, your uh, positive current will be carried by the phase winding. Okay, the positive current will be carried by the phase winding. When the switch S1 and S2 closed, the positive current will be carried by the phase winding. When the switch S3 and S4 closed the negative current will be carried by the phase winding okay and uh, coming to the next point uh, the phase winding is energized okay the phase winding is energized with the positive uh, current by switching the semiconductor switches s1 and s2 okay the external resistance the external resistance re this is mainly responsible for reducing the electrical time constant in order to make the rapid built up current in the phase winding okay so the resistance re we know that this resistance re is used to reduce the time constant in order to build up the rapid current uh, in order to make the rapid current build up in the phase winding okay so for that purpose only this resistance re is used that we have discussed in the unipolar drive circuit and here um, the phase is de-energized the phase is de-energized how we are going to de-energize the phase uh, means by uh, how we are going to de-energize the phase means by uh, turning off the semiconductor switches s1 and s2 by turning off the semiconductor switches s1 and s2 now we are going to de-energize the phase okay we are going to de-energize the phase the, now this winding current now the phase winding current uh, uh, now flows through the path consist of uh, d3 uh, d3 uh, source and your d4 okay so whenever the phase winding is de-energized by turning off your switches s1 and s2 now the phase current path will takes place d3 source and d4 okay d3 d3 vd and d4 okay now uh, now the winding current flows will uh, flow in this path and uh, thus the major portion of the energy stored in the phase winding uh, will be fed back to the source okay the major portion of your uh, energy the major portion of the energy which is stored in the phase winding will be fed back to the supply will be fed back to the supply okay and so that the uh, the source and phase current uh, phase but back to the source so that the the current decays rapidly to zero so that the current decays rapidly to 
zero. Okay, so that um, that I will show the diagram. Sorry. So the the current will be decays because we have generally we have discussed about the uh, drive circuit. Uh, same thing only here also. Uh, similar circuit only we are going to take consider. Okay, for the analysis. Now uh, the when the uh, due to the presence of the external resistance R E due to the presence of the external resistance R E. Okay, here uh, the drive circuit is inefficient. Uh, we have discussed although. It is more efficient than the unipolar drive circuit. Here, this RE is providing inefficient in unipolar, but in bipolar, when compared to unipolar, it is more efficient. Okay. Now, uh, here, uh, by uh, eliminating this RE resistance, how we are going to make efficient is by eliminating the RE resistance and using chopper principle, we are going to make the efficient bipolar circuit. We are going to make the efficient bipolar circuit. Okay. And now. Here, uh, the, uh, in order to energize the phase winding, to energize the uh, phase winding with a positive uh, current, with a positive uh, current S1 and S2 closing. Okay, the phase current build up rapidly. The phase current build up rapidly when it exceeds the rated current by the prescribed amount. The S1 will be turned off. The S1 will be turned off. Now, the phase current free wheels. Through S2. Now the phase current free wheels through S2 and uh, and D4. Okay, this will be free wheels to S2 and D4. This will be free wheels to S2 and D4. Whenever the S1 is turned off, when it is when the phase current is ex ex exits beyond the rated current, now this S1 will be turned off and making the phase current will be free wheels in this S2 and D4 because this switch is continuously turned on. Do when the when during the energizing of your phase one. Now, uh, now the phase current will be uh, fluctuates between the uh, rated current. When the phase is de-energized, S1 and S2 will be switched off. Now, uh, in now next coming to the next, if you are negative current, uh, uh, negative current uh, flows in the phase winding. When the switch S3 and S4 will be turned on okay when the switch s3 and s4 turned on the negative current will be uh, flowing into the uh, phase windings okay the same thing here also when it is exits beyond the rated current then the switch s3 will be turned off and the current will be flowing the current path will be takes place in uh, this one sorry uh, S4 and uh, D2. The path will be takes place. The current will be the phase current will be free free wheels in this path. S4 and D2. Okay. So this is about your uh, bipolar drive circuit for permanent magnet and hybrid motors. Okay. Thank you, students.